In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, we reflect on the Gospel of the second Sunday of Easter. We also celebrate Divine Mercy Sunday. A reading from the Gospel according to John, chapter 20, verses 19 to 31. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger in the mark of the nails, and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in His name. We read again and look out for those thoughts or words which stood out for us. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, 
unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side I will not believe A week later his disciples were again in the house and Thomas was with them Although the doors were shut Jesus came and stood among them and said Peace be with you Then he said to Thomas Put your finger here and see my hands Reach out your hand and put it in my side Do not doubt but believe Thomas answered him My Lord and my God Jesus said to him Have you believed because you have seen me Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples which are not written in this book but these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah the son of God and that through believing you may have life in his name The next step meditatio here we pick out some words or phrases or thoughts from the passage that stand out and reflect over it what stood out for me in today's passage are the following phrases peace be with you receive the holy spirit blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe Next step oratio Now take that word phrase idea or thought that struck you and the reflection that came from them and speak to God Tell him about your feelings your emotions and be totally open Final step Contemplatio 
you have spoken to god now wait on god to speak to you god speaks to us even in the silence of our hearts We pray. Lord very often we have failed to trust you wholeheartedly we doubt your presence in our lives thus not serving as a good example to our community and fellow believers in spite of the numerous miracles in our lives we still ask you for signs to prove your living presence we falter in following your will and rather only put forward our needs and wants help our blindness lord that we may see and hear you and open our hearts to receive you willingly and wholeheartedly as our triumphant savior you are the light of the world and we want to follow you We praise you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We thank you. All glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen.